What's up on the morning YouTube? So it's a nippy day in paradise today. My fingers are burning. I should have brought some gloves out. Also, I left my wellies outside thinking, oh, they smell too bad. And I put, put them flat so the rain wouldn't get in. But obviously we get strong winds up here and the rain blew them in. So yes, my feet are wet. Joys. But anyways, if you're new here, my name's Alexander and welcome to Our Green Agenda. Let me check if my dead cat is still here. Sorry, he loves to slip down sometimes. Like I've got like a growth on my stomach. But look, if you're not, if you've got a keen eye here, you can see there's chickens out. And I freed them. Look, I have freed them. I've given a little bit of freedom. They've been out for about a couple of weeks now. But you can see here, like I left it open because there's not one bit of green. You can see scraps of green in there. That's from the garden or from Susie's mum's garden. And there's just no green in there. And I felt bad. And chickens like a bit of grass. They love to kind of have a little peck away and just, just stretch their feet because it's really cold. And believe it or not, look, we've had snow. You can see it's proof in the pudding it's really icy down there it's just like an ice rink literally that whole bit even the driveway up and i'm not i kid you not when the sun's out peak of the day 12 o'clock the sun literally gets to there literally that pallet you see there so this whole bit behind here because of this hill here is in shade so it just goes to show like i'll just show, I'll show you the, the chicken area i'm not gonna delve too deep but yes hey! see that that's another reason why i let the chickens run free so I didn't have to kind of clamber over here and almost kill myself again. <laughs> <Because, laughs> you gotta laugh at these things, but yeah, I must slipped here. This is cut treacherous. I need to put some sand here just to make it less kind of slippy. This is here as well, just to kind of, this is one of the best things I put there, but I need more of them. So also another thing, I like this rowan and I've noticed that it's kind of, it didn't do so well this year. It didn't put out any um, seeds or anything. Oh, it looks, it looks dead, but it's obviously it's winter time now, but hopefully it's not just being too kind of nitrified or getting too much nutrients from here, because I'm guessing its roots go like, underneath and into here. So I hope not, I hope it's okay. So it'd be nice to kind of have a little break from all this kind of extra nutrient and extra rich kind of, because I know a lot of people, what they do with chickens, they move them around and stuff. It makes sense, but I just had a predator. We had a ferret, if you're new here, and it just, I just didn't want them to end up in the road and go all over the place and get lost and I wouldn't be able to keep track of them and stuff. So that's why I kept them in here. But I think I kept them in here for too long. But again, it's made a lovely blank canvas for me. And you can see, look, it's been, it's stowed how many days, but this one's coming back in. You all right, girl? Big bird, isn't it? So yeah, it's just still frosty, man. Proper frosty. And because of the sun doesn't hit it. So I just can't wait to utilize this space properly and just turn it into like a lovely little mini kind of green space. And I say it again, this is going up there because down there is so muddy. Look how muddy it gets. Like, honestly, it's so, so muddy. Like, it's just like a quagmire, like worse than that. Like, literally, I could bury something in there. Like, every time I'm standing there, I lose, like, you can't my, lose sight of my welly. Wellington, don't be rude, peeps. So, it's not that big. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I um, can't wait to utilize this and are these still alive? They do still look alive. Yes, they are alive. I got this is an older. It's a nitrogen fixin. This is a Katsura tree, which is a it's a it's like a it's, like a, it's a more for more visual purposes. It's kind of it adds for smell as well. Like it's got a lovely autumn color. It's like it's just like a fire, but just a soft like the flickering flames of a fire. It's kind of it's got a sweet smell when its flowers come out. It smells like like fudge, like caramel. It's really really nice. And this is a um, corner. It's a dogwood. I don't know if that's going to come alive again because um, every time a bit of green comes out, Cornus alba it's called, every time this, it comes out with a bit of green, the chickens peck it. So it's time to, for it to go to sleep now. I know there's one in here. I'm not sure where it is. It's in here somewhere. Believe me, there's, just, there's loads of trees in there. But So yeah, that's the plan. And then take down all this stuff, dig in some chicken wire in here. Just also like maybe make a swale in here because i know the contours of the of the the croft the croft of this area gonna go straight across like this they're all different in different places up here this one's quite obvious it literally just runs straight down you can see the slope going like this so you build a little trench you can slow the water down whereas here slightly different you can see it kind of goes at like an angle so it's like it's not so as of it's not as easy as that bit but you can it goes at a slant sorry like this so utilize it maybe cut across so then when it does rain too much because down here gets so much water literally it's the flattest bit here and normally it'll just pee out and trickle out down there but i think because the excess soil and the kind of stuff in the way it is slowed down so in time make a nice trench across here so it'll lead up and end up at the pond because i'm very pleased with that that kind of that's successful it dries up in the in the summertime it might not might not do it as much this year because of having the ducks in here which is great 
if you're not sure about ducks, ducks have sediment in their poos that fill out all holes in ponds and stuff. So it saves you having to buy all that kind of like special clay that some people use which can try and create natural ponds. And if it does leak, I'm not going to cry about it because at the end of the day, I know it's going to fill up again. It's almost like a like a winter water battery. Save the water, slow it down, fill up all the underground aquifers. Bosh, so when I do plant some trees in there, I know there'll be water underground. So that's how I see it. So it's not the end of the world. And with these pallets, instead of taking them out because they look worse for wear, they look disgusting. They're all brown and that. So, well, I don't really mind taking them out, but I feel like breaking them up and maybe making like a Hugo mound in places because these are heat treated. It'd be funny to make a Hugo mound out of pallets because we don't have many trees here, peeps, as you can see. Not many trees, you know, cutting down old row in here. But break it up, make a Hugo mound, take out all of some of these spurs and just make, make sense of it. But just proper design it in a nice way, like just have fun with it. Make like a little mini food forest where you can come in here. There'll be paths going through a lovely pond utilize it just have a nice little have I just have fun and I say it again this is coming out this thing coming out and moving up there and that's gonna be turned into a um a woodshed like a wood store for my future wood because I have lots of pallets and that's what I like to use for the wood wood burner is pallets so that's the plan for there also a little observation this is quite funny actually this is by mistake but I was using this I was trying to make something and I just left this piece of wood here and I sort of thought to myself oh okay like just left it and then one day it was sunny this is before it got like towards winter time and there was only <laughs> a couple of the chickens but everyone used to kind of co like congregate around this when the sun was out i think like, what are you doing but obviously the sun hits this because south behind me and reflects off this and shines onto them so they get like a double whammy of <laughs> of heat so i was like oh that makes sense so a little idea for you guys with chickens if you want them to sunbathe and utilize and get as much sun as possible is put this put like a reflective maybe a mirror or or a piece of white wood and it reflects off them and they get all the kind of the goodness from it and obviously chickens like to the sunbathe they look like they're kind of they're having a stroke but that's a, that's what they like to do so let's get out of here now and see the little chickens because their last day is coming up soon i'll tell you the truth now i think if you're new here i thought i was going to fall down then they're going to destined for the freezer they're destined for the freezer so i'll just turn and have a look at them now there's five see if we can spot them and same with some of these it's so slippery, you can see all the ducks slipping. But yeah, who are the chickens? There's one there. One, two, three, four. Where's the other one? one oh yeah, five, there you go. So that's the plan. So a nice little recap of what to do with the, well, not what to do with chickens, but the, the idea of the chicken area. It worked well to start off with. I just said, take it all in. It was such a good idea to start off with, but there's only so many flaws because literally, see that? This whole thing is just filled, sorry birds, it's filled with rabbits. You can see it's just like a nice thick wall, just perfect for a rabbit. They undermined it and then what will happen is, well, what has happened is a ferret has got underneath and infiltrated the whole area. And it's just like, it's just, it was just, I, I filled up some holes on this side, but obviously there's holes on this side. Like, it was nothing to do with the, um, the holes in this. They just undermined it and come underneath. So it's just, it's, I was a losing battle. It's just been constantly every year. And yeah, and like I said, it's just it, for me to do another one of these or get electric fence and it's just so windy here, it's just a faff. I might as well just let them free range, but chickens destroy too quickly. And before you can turn anything green, it just be annoying. So I'm trying to like stop the deer and the rabbits and the chickens, it just be too much from my head. So, so that's enough blabbing from me. So stick around if you're new here, yeah, um, consider subscribing. And yeah, and next I'll be showing you off about the ducks in their new in new not new habitat or the, the non-flying ducks so they can fatten up and get big and then we can decide what we're going to do with them so peace and hugs from me and remember it's not just my agenda it's yours too